we as a society are stripping out too many of the natural resources of our earth. So one of the focuses we have is the concept of using more recycled and more renewable content. So good examples would be pop bottles, your plastic pop bottles. We actually take those pop bottles and we could break them down and we actually spin the pop bottles into the fabric that we use in our seats. When we are looking at plastic bins in the vehicle, we can put wheat straw in with the plastic, and that actually improves the functional performance and also makes it lighter weight. If you make the engine lighter, and we make the rest of the body lighter, we make the sheet metal lighter, then that means we don't need to put as much into the suspension system. We don't need to have brakes that are as large. So by removing between 250 to 750 pounds of weight every time we renew our vehicle platform, we're improving the fuel economy even if we do nothing else with the engine or with other alternative fuels or other advanced technologies. So when Ford looked at what we needed to do to make a meaningful difference in improving our carbon footprint, we realized that we had to come up with a solution for gasoline as well as providing options with all the other fuels. And that solution is something we call EcoBoost. First thing I want to show you about this EcoBoost engine are the turbos on the side. These turbos, although they look small, are very powerful and they increase the power of this V6 engine. So when we look at this type of technology, EcoBoost provides generally across the board an improvement in fuel economy and a reduction in emissions.